everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So if you can't tell by the title or the boxes and blankets behind me, I'm moving out. Whoa. But before we even start this video, let me explain why there wasn't a video last Sunday. So, you know, the last time you saw me, I made this huge deal about, uh, you know, starting an upload schedule every single Sunday. I was going to upload a video. It was going to be great. It was going to be so fun. And then the next week, the next Sunday rolls around and no video from me. Well, folks, that is because all last week I was dying <laughs> with the flu. No, it wasn't the flu. That's a little dramatic. It might have been strep. It might have been just a common cold. I don't know. I can be kind of dramatic if I'm sick, but, you know. But I don't think I was being super dramatic because... Ugh, it sucked. I lost like my entire voice. I had a fever for a couple of days. I couldn't stop coughing. I was sweating a lot. Ugh, it was just so gross and I'm so glad that is behind me. So that is why there wasn't a video last Sunday because throughout that entire week I literally could not film because I couldn't speak <laughs> and I was coughing every two seconds so there's no way I could have gotten one up. But anyways, yes, if you can tell by the title and all the boxes and blankets behind me, I am moving out. I just completely dropped my camera on the ground, so I kind of forgot what I was saying, but... Anyways, I am moving out for the very first time, and I'm so excited. Ugh, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, but the packing is not very fun. <laughs> because I didn't realize how much stuff I owned until I started packing it all up, so... I'm gonna kind of make this a series-ish, I guess you could say. Um, it's not gonna be very long, it's probably only gonna be like two parts. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. So this is part one. Duh. <laughs> Today I'm just gonna be talking about how I went about looking for an apartment, um, ultimately why I chose the apartment I did, and just kind of how I packed up everything because I obviously didn't vlog myself packing up everything, so. And then the second part will be me actually moving in and starting this new chapter in my life. So I've got Tabitha, my unicorn, I named her Tabitha, and I've got my coffee, there it is. Um, it's really hot right now though, so I can't really drink it, but, uh, it's fine, it's fine. So basically, I knew I wanted to move out when I got the job that I currently have, um, which was the beginning of summer, April-ish. Um, basically, I decided to make the jump because the new job that I got was paying me enough to where I could move out and I could support myself, so I was like, now is the perfect time. When I started actually looking for apartments, I went online and I just, you know, did apartments for rent in whatever my area and you know different websites came up like apartments.com apartment guide trulia different things like that uh they were all about the same just because they're all going to list the same complexes so i don't really have a specific one that i recommend i pretty much looked at all the different ones uh, but yeah i basically looked into every single apartment complex in my area which was kind of a lot and did kind of like pros and cons with it. I had a specific budget, so before I even started looking, I wrote out what I make in a month, what I can afford, you know, this is the range of rent that I can afford a month. But yeah, so once I had my budget in mind, I went to the websites and looked at every single one and kind of feathered out which ones weren't going to work for me. Another big factor for me when looking for an apartment was the pet policy because at the time I didn't have my own pet, um, I do now, <laughs> but I knew that I was ultimately going to get one almost immediately <laughs> after I moved in because I just couldn't wait and so I wanted to look at every apartment's pet policy and find out which one was the best option. The apartments I chose have a weight limit of 60 pounds, I want to say. So, you know, really good. That's a wide range. <laughs> and it only adds $15 a month. Yeah, $15 a month to your rent, 
which is not bad at all compared to some of the others which were like 30, 35, 40, you know, different things like that, depending. So basically, tips for looking for your first apartment would be to Google every apartment complex in your area that you can, look at all the websites, make pros and cons lists, know what your budget is, what rent you can afford, a factor in utilities for sure because you don't want to be completely broke, you know, every month. And you need to know what you want and know if you need a big weight limit for your pet, if you already have pets or you plan on getting one. Um, you know, if you need a laundry and dryer unit, check the apartment complexes that have those available, different things like that. Just make yourself a list of what you're looking for in an apartment and you'll be able to find the exact one you want. So now let's talk about how I packed. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff in my room, there's a lot of clutter, but it's only because it's all condensed into boxes and all in the middle of the floor. <laughs> all of my furniture is empty, my closet is basically empty, my desk is empty, my dresser is empty. Everything is empty, it's just all in these boxes that are piled up in my room. So once I get all these out of there, it's gonna feel a lot more empty, which is gonna be weird, but <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be cool. I didn't really have a method to packing, I kind of just grabbed an empty box and started emptying out my desk, started emptying out my dresser, you know, I didn't really have a plan when I was packing because I figure I can have a plan when I'm unpacking. <laughs> I guess I'm not the most organized packer, so I don't know if I should really be giving tips, but eh, whatever. Let's see if my coffee is not as hot. It's still a little hot. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was hot. <laughs> um, and also, I packed up all the clothes that are seasonal that I'm not going to need anytime soon. Like, I packed up all of my sweaters and all of my jackets because it doesn't get cold here until, like, November. So, I'm not going to need those for a little while. So, I packed all those up, went ahead and did that. I put all my makeup in, you know, little makeup bags so that I can just live out of those for a little while. <laughs> I put away all the shoes I don't normally wear on the regular basis, I put away all my books, all my movies, you get the gist. Like I said, I didn't really have a method to packing, I just got an empty box, filled it up. <laughs> so this might end up being kind of a long video, but I did want to show you guys a few things that I got for my apartment, just to like prepare. They're really random, so let's just go. So the other day, the other day, this was like a month ago, I was at Target and they had a bunch of kitchen stuff on sale. Um, and so <laughs> naturally I got so excited because I love kitchen stuff. But I got this pizza, ow, I just bit my tongue. But I got this pizza slicer. <laughs> I told you, it's so random. But it's really, really cute. Look at that. How cute is that? I love it. I love pizza, so I'm very excited to have this. My mom got me a few things from Walmart, which is super fun. She got me a spatula, and it's pink, my favorite color. And then she got me some tongs. These say that they're heat resistant, 400 degrees, so these are some good tongs. I wonder if this is too. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. And then she also got me this kitchen set. Um, it's just like, you know, a little set. It comes with a couple of pot holders, that's what they look like, um, and then this oven mitt, you can't really see, but there's an oven mitt there, and then some little dish towels that I can use, which is super cute because this isn't just one color, so I don't have to make sure this matches with a bunch of stuff, it's going to match with almost anything. <sighs> look, I thought I had a lot more to show you, but it turns out it's all packed up, so <laughs> you're just going to have to wait on that until I move out. I'll do a big haul once I move out and, you know, get all my essentials. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about for this video. I think we hit all the major points. How I found my apartment, how I packed, which was no method, and I showed you guys a few things that I have already for my apartment. If you guys have any tips or suggestions to moving out for the first time, please let me know in the comments because your girl is going to be struggling, I'm going to need some help. <laughs> But it's going to be fun and I cannot wait. I'm going to actually be able to film so much more videos, so many more cool ones and fun ones. Ugh, I cannot wait. And you'll get to meet my puppy. <laughs> if you liked this video, if you thought it was informative, if you love Tabitha, 
please give this video a thumbs up so I know. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, definitely hit subscribe down below. I've actually gained a few subscribers recently. I now have like 30 something last time I checked. So thank you for subscribing. I'm so happy to have you here. <laughs> also hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video, which is every single Sunday, unless I'm sick and dying. Um, I hope you guys are excited for this new chapter of my life. I know I am. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna make such great content. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you guys next Sunday with my moving out part two, maybe? We'll see. See you next Sunday! <laughs>